but, but shouldn't the assistant, again, I think it's Lee Betts this time, be saying, that's not the right line? Well, in an ideal world, yes, but they obviously haven't. It's obviously the referee, whether the referee's dominated it and said, you know, this is it, I'm happy with this. He's turned to the operative. The operative said, are you happy the line's there? Yeah, I've locked them in. Once they're locked in, bang, that's it. The judgment goes on and they are locked in on Tompkins and without doubt they should have been locked in on Gay. Sue, you've been quiet so far. Let's bring you into the conversation, <laughs> shall we? Um, it's one of those things, decisions like this, where, as Dermot said, it is human error, a clear, obvious human error, where people will think, do you know what, we'll just take a couple of poor decisions on field through the course of the season because it's not worth it if, if VAR can't draw the right line. I think that's the problem, that we, we looked at offsides and we said, well, it's OK, because we get offsides, they're either right or wrong. And now there's been two offsides that are that have been wrong and I was watching the game and I was thinking they're definitely offside and then it makes you question yourself because I'm like well why have they drawn the line there and not there so yes it's human error and of course we all we all make mistakes but again you made a brilliant point about the Arsenal error that that could cost them the title if they lose the title by two points that's massive and it could be the same Brighton getting into Europe mm -hmm. if they don't get into Europe by two points so it's huge for that football club so they need to be right, at least offsides, because it's subjective, it needs to be right. And when you talk about training and making sure this doesn't happen again, and there are parts of the process with that going back to the Arsenal goal, we think, OK, well, I can understand why Lee Mason's got himself into that position. You sort of feel like you can't really do a lot to, to train that. It's a pretty obvious, basic thing to get wrong, isn't it? I think it's a mental thing, Rob. You know, you've got to instil in him, because I still think that because he spent so long, as I say, on the three minutes, that it's almost like I don't want to push it too far. For, for what I said earlier, I don't want to sound repeating myself, but it is. And so I think the thing you've got to get into him mentally is, irrespective of how long it's going to take, you've got to go right the way through. You've got to go A, B, C, D. And if it doesn't finish at D, you've got to carry on. And long as it takes, sorry, Lee, but you've got to do it. Not just Lee, but everyone in the VAR room have got to do it. I think that's what will happen. That's what... It's not just about, you know, you said about the meeting, but it's not just about Lee Mason. It's not just about John Brooks. It's about everybody because we're all in it together. It's about everybody having the same mental approach to it of time is of no consequence. The decision is the most important. Just to come back, Kev, to, to something that Sue said about it not being of, of a great consolation. Uh, the statement that came from the PGMOL yesterday can confirm its chief refereeing officer, Howard Webb, has contacted both Arsenal and Brighton to acknowledge and explain the significant errors in the VAR process in their respective Premier League fixtures on Saturday. Both incidents, which were due to human error and related to the analysis of offside situations, are being thoroughly reviewed by PGMOL. Um, not going to be much consolation to either club, is it? Um, no, not at all. Uh, great to know that, you know, there's an apology, but what does it actually do? Because of all the eyeballs that are on, the, you know, the VAR official has an assistant, etc. what do they see? If, if everybody else could see it, they should be able to see it. And more training? Come on. You know, this is, this is crazy stuff, as far as I'm concerned. It's just people not doing their job properly. That's it. That's it. As simple as that. Dermot could dress it up as much as he likes. <laughs> But it's people not doing their job. That, that's it.